Good morning, traders. Stockafella back at it, doing another uh, challenge for a search trader, you guys. Uh, I am in the ACN swing, you guys. I called this out. I've been called this out, you guys. You guys, if you're doing a challenge or if you're doing just regular trading, you, like our last few trades been on fire, you guys. So follow me, you guys, for my alerts. Follow my channel. Uh, if you've seen the Oracle swing, went crazy. The ACN went, swing went crazy um the tesla the nvidia like our, our last trade's been like it's they're been good you guys um this trade i got in you guys at 309 just anticipating the breakout of 310 just in case i'm wrong um it, there was ten dollars room for this so i was like okay this is a basically one swing trade hopefully i could get this challenge i don't want to have like like crazy like hopeful think uh wishing but we do have room you guys so we are almost there you guys we need two more bucks um hopefully you guys see my last uh challenge live i want to push you guys i want to motivate people to show you guys that you can do if, if you're a good swing trader you guys and you see one good swing trader to risk 380 bucks to try this and then maybe you might nail it you might have a few times like me i, I tried a couple times to get a accounts with them but if you nail a good swing trade you guys and, and manage your risk well um it's possible maybe one or two trades you can get an account if you're a good swing trader or which sorry trader i'm gonna leave my referral code you guys just in case if anybody wants to leave it, it's a way of you guys supporting my channel. Um, so we're going to watch this, you guys. We're going to watch this. Hopefully it breaks the 320 area. You guys, right now, the whole goal is to get above VWAP. Right? We have to get above VWAP. If we get above VWAP, we, gotta, we have high, like, pretty much a high probability of getting filled today. If we don't, like, we're going to have to wait it out, you guys. But you see on the daily chart, buyers came... They tried to take it down this morning. Hopefully, they keep it back up. But buyers came back and scooped us up, you guys. We had some sellers in the beginning. You know, the first five minutes, we can't trade, you guys. So, I couldn't take profits right there, even though it was close to target. Um, so, I have to be a little patient, you guys. Hopefully, this thing cracks 318 and then cracks VWAP. That's the goal in 319. If we get that, hopefully, I will get filled on a quick squeeze. We need a little more volume to come in. This thing's been slow on the volume, you guys. So, let's see what happens. ACN is like 80% institutionally owned, so you got to be careful with this, you guys. Which Meaning, basically, they're going to take it wherever they want to take it, you guys. I have a feeling they want to try to probably test this, but maybe a bear trap and probably get a new highs on this, you guys. So let's see if we get um, bidders to step it up, you guys. Right now, we're watching level two. We need bidders to step it up, and we need a little more volume to come in, you guys. And to try to get over VWAP. That's the goal. So sit back, watch the tape, you guys, and maybe you can learn something. Have patience, you guys. Always have patience, you guys. Sometimes I'm over patient, but stick to the plan. Let me shut this window real fast. Let's see what happens here. The market's like the whole market got a little pullback today, but I see like a couple bounces. So hopefully we bounce right here, you guys. We need bidders to step it up again past 318. Squeeze it up past VWAP. On the uptrend, you guys, this thing is still on the uptrend, on the big chart. So hopefully we're not too far away from target. I got, a, I got in. You see this breakout right here, you guys? That's why you want to pay attention to the big chart first. I was anticipating this breakout, so I got in. Before the breakout, and then it gapped up actually on us. I got a couple upgrades. I got another couple upgrades today. So, if like one trade, hopefully it works out. But if this trade gets to target, we will get a um, a 50k account from Search Trader. The last account you guys seen me um, get, I tried to short Tesla, and I like irresponsibly like walked away and. My stop loss was too high when I put in a stop loss. So basically, long story short, I got squeezed on the other one. So I woke up with a gap up. So, but never give up, you guys. Never give up. Right away, I got another account. I said, damn, you know, you live and you learn. You learn from it. You learn from your mistakes. And then you, you actually make money. It's like, let's say, okay, I learned from this. Okay, next time I know, instead of long, I'm shorting it. Or instead of short, like I learned a lot of lessons in the past um, eight years, you guys. Like, I, almost nine years, like, soon I'll be, hopefully I'll say I'll be trading. Ups and downs, you guys. We're, we're getting over VWAP, you guys. Let's see if this happens live again. 
Price target, a TP is $319.91. I just want to make sure we get above that spread, you guys. You guys hear my animals in the back? We're going to move it to 93, you guys, just in case. 92, 93, in case we have to pay for the spread. And we're raising the stop loss a little bit. Let's hopefully we get above there, you guys, and give it a little patience. All right, three eighteen twenty sevens on the bed, forty ones. We still got bidders coming in. You got to think psychology, you guys. What are the longs trying to do? They're trying to break new highs, right? They want to get over three twenty. If they get over three twenty, they have a lot of room. They have room to like at least three twenty five. Let's say shorts. They want to take this back down to their next support to the trend line at least, or get new lows. So it's a fight. So watch this fight right here, you guys. Over the years, you guys, if you've been watching level two, you guys should have been. Like, kind of no level two by now, you guys. Hopefully, we get to 319 soon, you guys. <coughs> Excuse me. We still have sellers coming in. Look at it from both sides. We just need a quick squeeze. We just need a one good candle, you guys. Hopefully, it happens. I could be wrong. It could crack below VWAP again. But the goal is, you know, I do this these videos in real time. So, you guys could see how I'm thinking while the trade is going on. I don't do voiceovers and all that. But right now, the whole goal is to try to stay above this area, you guys. It could test VWAP a little bit. But hopefully, stay above this prior low so it doesn't make a new lower low. We need to really get above the 19 area, the 319. So right now they're hope that they're hopefully not gonna test 318. It looks like they're gonna they want to test 318. Let's see if we get buyers to come back in and step it up a little bit. I just moved that out the way, you guys. Um, so I don't have to look at the profits too much. I just once it gets closer, I just want to make sure we get filled, so you guys could kind of see it if it happens. Hopefully, we do have buyers coming back in at VWAP. Let's see. This is the do or die test right here. Okay, we do have bidders coming back, you guys. I just want to get above 319, you guys. So we have, so it doesn't, so it's not too hard for us to get to our target area. Just want to make sure I'm above my uh, spread area. Okay, we got 65 on the bid, 6071. We need the bidders to step it up, 319. We need 319. Hopefully they they bring it on in the next couple minutes. Here we go. Bidders are stepping it up. 81, 83. Let's move this out the way. Okay. Sit, Dina. Relax. Okay. Seller's coming back. I do have a business, you guys. So try try trading and and running a business at the same time. Two different, two of the hardest things you can do. So try doing that. It's like so if I can do that, you guys, you can do this. Trust me. We need bidders to come back, step it up a little bit. Here we go, on the bid. Like I said, this is like 77% institutionally owned. So we just fall back and let them do their thing, you guys.
319s, 319s incoming, knocking on 319, you guys. Bitters, we've got a hidden buyer at 319 trying to step it up. Take this above. Make sure we're paying for our spreads, you guys. Not to be greedy. I just want to make sure I'm paying for the spreads, you guys. I might lower it. Let's see how much we need. If it gets there, it's just a little spready. I just want to make sure I'm paying for the spreads, you guys. I need more volume so it can become a little more. We need a little more liquidity. Hopefully, these 319 step it up. We could get rejected here, you guys, but we're going to watch it. It is above VWAP. We have a little buyers coming in. We just need the bidders to step it up a little bit. Hopefully, it does not come back and test this. And if it does, hopefully, it holds. We do. We are still getting higher lows and higher highs. Got to look at everything, you guys. Looks like the market is even coming back. See Tesla. Pay attention to everything, you guys. AMD is still not. 420 in the videos, it looks like it's coming back. This is why I have this, you guys. I can pay attention to like sectors and different markets. Not every stock of those is in my watch list. Here we go. 319 on the bid. Hopefully they raise up their ask. Hopefully nobody comes in to offer it for cheaper. We got 319.02 on the bid. Not too much size. We do have a hidden seller right here. 319 on the bid. Here we go. 319 coming back on the bid. 319. The ask just raised, you guys, which is a good thing. Hopefully it's not a trap for for bulls. If you're if you're uh, shorting this, I feel bad for you guys. I had a lot of people hit me up on the um, at three ten talking about it's a fake out. I said no, give it time because it's playing around. It's still playing around, you guys. And when I was watching the tape, I was like, it looks like they're gonna try to push it up. It was a lot of pressure to the upside. You gotta do your best judgment call, you guys. Here we go. Let's see what they decide to do. Have sellers coming back in trying to sell it. You're going to be a little patient. Hopefully they save the 50 area. We got a few price upgrades. I think we got one upgrade today. A few this week. I think it helps sometimes. It helps. Sometimes I see when they upgrade, I think some companies, like, I don't want to, like, talk, like, like nonsense. But I think some companies pay them and stuff because a lot of times they get upgraded and the stock dumps. So you got to be careful with them upgrades, you guys. You got to see actually a reaction to the upgrades. It's just like earnings. A stock could have good earnings, but you're looking for the reaction. Sometimes it has good earnings and it still goes down. So Hopefully this is looking like a little bear trap right here. Come on, bidders. <clears throat> you guys got to know in trading, focus on what you can control, right? I can't control pushing it up. I don't have a billion dollars. I can't push this up. So I could focus on my re managing the risk and managing the position, you guys, and doing the same thing basically over and over. Seventy-five on the ask. Trying to get back to three nineteens. That's the goal. Looks like they're trying to sell it down. Hopefully we get some buyers at VWAP right here. You 
you guys want to see these buyers like come back and push it up like not these sellers but you guys want to see these buyers let's get this out the way again until we get close again Three eighteen is now back on the bid. Got bidders stepping back up. That's a good sign so far, you guys. We do have bidders right there so far. Hopefully that was a little bear trap, like we said. This is a green day. You guys want to be careful shorting on a green day for this stock. A lot of times it's about stock selection, you guys. A lot of times stock selection is very important. It's a seller stepping right back up again, trying to sell it down. It's a fight at VWAP right now. We need the bidders to step it up again past VWAP, you guys. Step it up past 50 area. When I say 50, you guys pay attention to the last two. Like 318.50. Then when you've been trading a long time, like traders know this, we just like probably say just the last two most traders. Like most professional traders and stuff. You don't got time to say the whole thing every second. We really need one good squeeze, hopefully. Let's see. We need bidders to come back up. If we get above here, you guys, we could potentially get squeezed to here. If you guys hear the dog snoring in the background, my fault. See this area right here? If we get above there, we're going to have some shorts. What's that? 319.61. So first we got to get above 319 right here what is that 319.25 from earlier 319.20 right if we, we got to get above here then we get above here and then it'll trigger some stop losses well hopefully we'll squeeze and get filled here so let's see we need volume to come in so we need volume let's say we need volume at least up to here really so that's why i have all these lines you guys just to like manage it while i'm going just to see what's the support resistance where we got a break previous high the, the today's high so the volume you know i don't look at rsi you guys because you can pretty much tell when a stock is oversold that like rsi is like makes you have conviction for no reason so some people like to use it like for maybe long-term investing but i've seen a lot of people blow up due to rsi strategies and stuff They're going to try to sell VWAP here, you guys. Let's see if bidders come back and save it again. We do have bidders at VWAP. We do have good bidders at VWAP, you guys. Let's see if they keep holding it. That's, that should be a good sign right there. The volume, we need more volume, though. We still need more, more bars here. Spread still 19 cents apart. We need to get a little tighter on the spread. Getting a little better on the spread. The bidders need to step it up a bit. You're going to give this time. That's why I have the hourly, guys. If you're swing trading hourly, four hour daily, I'm just using the five minute really for entries and exits, really. In one minute, hopefully, we'll start at like a new candle, like even if you think about a 30-minute candle. We do have bidders coming back in still, you guys. Trying to push it above 319 again. We do have a big seller right here at 319. If we could get past him, you guys, we will squeeze. 319.20, you guys. Here we go. Let's see. Let's see. One dollar away, you guys. One dollar away. Let's see if we can get a quick squeeze out of them. Oh, 
Okay. We're trying to push it above 319. Remember I said about this line, you guys? We got to get above that previous high. If we get above here, then we got to get above this line. Okay, here we go. Bidders back on the bid. We might pass this challenge live. Let's see, you guys. I know I get excited, but we might not even need that much. But let's see what happens. I just got it in there for the spread, you guys. Let's see if we get there. We need to get to get above this. There's going to be sellers there. A lot of sellers. It's going to be a lot of sellers trying to smack it down, you guys. Let's see if buyers try to push it above. Come on, buyers. You can do it. Wow. Tons of sellers there, you guys. Let's see. Hopefully, we try it again. We're getting close. Still have buyers. See that volume line, you guys? Got to get above our line areas and actually hold. <coughs> Excuse me. We got 319s back on the bid. Trying to short, squeeze these shorts. The ask has to raise up a little bit. The bid has to step it up a bit. We still have sellers, you guys. A lot of sellers. A lot of algos right there. We're going to need a little more pressure to crack above there. Here we go. 23 is back on the bid, you guys. They're not giving up. They're not giving up. Always have patience, you guys. Always have patience. Plan the trade. Trade the plan. No matter what. Trail it. Manage it. But in, the, in general, big picture, plan the trade. Trade the plan. If you guys have been watching my channel for years, you guys should know by now. Like, Here we go. Let's get this bid above 50. Smash that like, you guys, for me. Anybody wants some to, any questions about stocks or anything, you guys, leave it in the comments. Do not be scared to ask. I like helping people because when I was first starting, it was hor it was horrible for me. It was horrible. So everybody got to go through that, you guys. Everybody has to go through that to learn. You're not gonna learn. It's it's good to learn from other people's mistakes, but most people learn from their own mistakes. Come on, ask. Raise it up. We're going to give it one more candle. Hopefully, it should get above there, you guys. Need bidders to step it up. They're going to push it, you guys. They're going to hopefully push it above there. I got a hidden buyer. We do have a hidden seller, too, at 39. But the pressure, like, I don't want to be biased, but the pressure is looking like they're going to take them out soon. We do have 40s on the tape. Just got to be a little patient. Could be wrong, but hopefully they take out the 40 guy. 319s back on the bid. 02. We need volume to step it up, you guys, a little bit. Let's check the volume on this. I like looking at volume in total. Oh, it's still a little slow, you guys. So we need a little more volume to come in. Almost there, you guys. See what trading is? This is trading, you guys. This trade, to me, I'm trying to make it all or nothing. I just want to make trying to stick to the plan. So we're going to stick, try to stick to the plan. 319. We're a dollar away, you guys. Less than a dollar away. Maybe on this candle we could get it. They get a new high, you guys. We could squeeze. So pay attention. I just don't need that much room because I don't want to overstay, overstay my welcome, you guys. It's a $10 move. It's a huge move for a swing trade for a few days. Let's see if it happens, you guys. We're still fighting at 319. 
There we go. There's the sellers coming back in. Trying to have patience here, you guys. We got sellers testing VWAP again, you guys. Need more volume, really. Oh, Sorry, you guys. Let's see if the volume comes in. I hope they don't dump it right here. Hopefully another bear trap, we hope so. We do have a few bidders coming back, you guys. Got to get above these 319s, you guys. Got a lot of sellers right there on that candle right here. Let's see if this uh, VWAP test holds. Need more volume to step it up again. We're still low on the volume, you guys, on this. That's why I couldn't move either way. Come on, bidders. We need the bidders to buy up VWAP again. Trying to stay cool, you guys. This is a really strong bullish candle so far on the daily. That's what's giving me like a little better conviction and a little more patience. So we're not, hopefully we're not too far away from the area. Hopefully that's not a top right here. Hopefully they keep driving it up, these buyers. We just need a little more patience and some more buyers to keep stepping it up. We do have a hidden buyer so far right there. The ask is at 318.96 right now. We need a little more volume so the spread can become a little more tighter, you guys. It's, got, it's, it's really like we need we need more liquidity, basically. You see the volume right here? I know it's still early, but we need it at least like up here somewhere. With with that much volume, it's a good move for, for only that for low volume. This is the, my watch list is arranged by volume from highest to lowest, you guys. And this is almost at the bottom of the list. Basically, it is at the bottom of the list. So we, if you get another little volume, we should be squeezing up soon. 319 is back on the bid, you guys. Looked like a, a little fake uh, bear trap right there. I'll, I'll put the profits in the thing so you guys could see when we get a little closer, you guys. If we get over, like, hopefully 50, 30, 
Yeah, three one nine five zero. Hopefully, once we get there, if we get there, still got sellers up there trying to beat up the net three nineteen. We just really need a dollar, really around a dollar twenty. Hopefully, they they do not beat this up right here. Watch the volume too, you guys. You really want to see ending volume on the selling. When the imbalances came out yesterday, it was more towards the buy side. Of, so hopefully we get the same thing today. I do live in the city, you guys, um, so you might hear bikes and stuff pass by and crazy stuff out there. Had to get closer to the business. Save time. It's all about time, you guys. Still fighting the 319 area. I just need a dollar worth of pressure right there, really. Quick imbalance. Quick little, maybe a stop loss run. A buck or two up there to get filled. <coughs> a few bidders coming back. Not too many. They're still playing with them, you guys. A lot of people wait for the actual breakout. So if you see the 320s breakout, you might see buyers come back in. This stock is not too popular. I called it out a lot, you guys. I go like I don't see this stock trending anywhere. Like even though it's been on a crazy run, I passed two challenges with it. It's just, just I don't know. People like to play, I guess, Nvidia and Tesla and stuff like that. Like in a lot of books, they tell you get in in quiet times and get out in like wild times in the market. So I'm always early. I'm like like first in, first out type thing. Usually not first like but usually somewhere in there like or a little early All right, three eighteen ninety six still on the bid the patterns still a bullish pattern you guys We just need a uh, like I said a dollar and squeeze hopefully you sellers get the hell out of here Let's get close. I like to look at the candles close sometimes. Advice I got from um, a, a professional trader is like on Thinkorswim, they have on demand. You can go play it, like fast forward it and practice a lot. And then when it comes down to the real market, like this is like really slow to you. So you can like think better, think faster. Kind of helps. Like you play and fast forward, you get used to it really fast. Then when you come to the real market, everything's kind of like slow motion. We're still having problems around 319, you guys. This area. Need more volume to step it up, more buyers to come in. This is like a box, like one of the books I read, it's like every time the stock leaves its box, it gets to another box, and then we get more buyers adding on. Some people take profits, a lot of people start adding on their position, like long-term people, long-term swingers and stuff. So hopefully that happens. Another test of VWAP here. Let's see if bidders come back. We do have bidders at VWAP. Nice. But we need more volume though. We need more size on the tape.
trying to get above this 319, you guys. It's like a little wall right there. I like to think so, like round numbers as like a magnet. So usually it gets up there. But like if you guys watch my old videos, think about it like a door, right? You want you don't want to be with the crowd pushing through the door. Like they used to teach you how to break play breakouts. You want to like wait till the door breaks. Like the door breaks and it has to shut, not like this. It has to close above here for it to be bullish. That's like the door shutting. Now you now you're like past here. Like think of it like as a wall and a door, and then people are trying to break down the door. If the wall doesn't close behind you, you'll fall back down. So you got to have this, like, basically wall close. This door, I mean, close behind you. If you want to, like, add or whatever, like. Here we go, 3-19-07. Everybody has their own strategy. I, I just told you how what I'm thinking of it. Here we go. We're getting close, you guys. Let's put the thing back on. Hopefully we get close. Eight years of hard work. Right now, if I blow an account, you guys, it's like, okay, it's okay. Not a problem. I should get another one. It's like, once you get trading, you finally get trading, you just, like, get it. It's not like, you get, oh, I'm going to be good forever. But it's like, like, you have a skill that's that you could go make money and you can learn every day. You still have to keep learning and trying and stuff, but you have a skill, you guys. This is going to be a fight right here, you guys. So let's see what happens. I don't think I need my TP at uh, 96 because we're already at 47.30. So we're going to put it like at uh, 95. Okay. Just to, just to, in case we're having problems, too many problems. They're still eating it. You guys see that? Wow. What an ugly candle. Wow. Wow. Let's see the fight right here, you guys. It's going to be a little fright right here. See, there's a lot of pressure. Watch the volume. Wow, look at that candle. Ugly. Got eight in. Let's see, you guys. A lot of, scan a lot of sellers right there. Every time I put this to get close, you guys, it gets, like, close, and they're like, damn, like, wah, wah, but, hey, it's trading. Let's see if it holds me up here. Hopefully, it gives them a pressure right back again. Hopefully, we get this pressure up. Right now, all we have to do is get above here, right? This is, like, a double top, but it's going to be hard because these sellers are trying really hard. Let's see if we have buyers enough to come back in here and push them above there. That's why I like watching the hourly, you guys. Give you patience. That's either the 30 minute or the hourly should help you with patience. Sometimes you're over patient, but let's see if these. It'll be a little more pressure if these shorts are if these shorts piled up right here. Hopefully they'll be in the red right here, and let's see. Hopefully that's not wishful thinking, you guys. We do have bidders coming back. Wow, what a fight. Let's see. Not too many sellers at 319, so that's a good sign. We just had hot, probably hidden sellers up there, you guys. You got to overpay attention. Maybe a lot of profit takers. We don't know. We just know there's a lot of selling right there real fast. I just look at it from like common sense thing. Make your simple, make your trading easier, you guys. Here we go. Wow. Another fight. We got to get above here, you guys. We got to get above these guys. Come on, Bulls. 319.50 we need on the bid. They keep trying to dump it. Short sellers keep trying to dump it up there.
There's a lot of people trying to keep it below 320. You got to understand the psychology behind that. It's like they're going to be deep in the red. So they're they're trying to protect that area. So they keep adding. So let's see if let's see if we get any buyers to come back again. I, oh, okay, let's see. That was a fight right there, you guys. Let's see. It's a fight, you guys. It's like poker. You gotta be careful. They might try to be bearing it in shorts just to just to have some more uh, pressure or liquidity. We go go vice versa too. Here we go. Here we go. Pass thirty four on the bid. We need past fifty on the bid, really. Did you guys see my alert? If my alert gets off, well, you guys know I should get filled. And we passed this challenge, you guys. Hopefully, I don't believe in keeping our fingers crossed, but so let's keep our fingers crossed. Here we go. 60's on the bid. We're close. We're close, you guys. 50's, oh, more sellers. Need a little more pressure on the buying side. Three nineteen thirty one on the bid, fifty one on the ask. Come on, ask. We gotta raise it up a bit. We need the bidders to step it up a little bit to twenty five thirty, and the volume to come in a little stronger, like that last candle. Now we're kind of high enough where we could squeeze it to there, if it happens, you guys. Ooh, more sellers. Let's see if the 319 holds. Patience, you guys. Patience is an edge by in itself, like I always say. We're gonna take this TP to 90 because we don't, I don't, 91 maybe because I don't believe we need that much. Okay, right, we'll do 93 in case it's spread. Still in the area, it's not exact, you guys, it's an area. We do have bidders coming back in again. Hopefully he's holding his 319 area. Bulls target is going to be to break the 320, you guys. At least try to get there. So far, it's a fight. So far, it's a crazy fight. The hourly is still looking good, though. The hourly is still looking good. This, as long as it remains above VWAP, it's going to be hopefully strong. Bidders are coming back again. 26 on the bid, 57 on the ask. Okay, just for the spread, you guys. In case, in case it's too spready. Let's watch the ask.
Boom. In case it's too spready, just in case, we might change it again, you guys. I just want to watch the spread. Just called managing your exits and entries. You guys should be getting there soon. Come on, bidder, step it up. Just need a little bit more. Another 50 cents, hopefully. They want to test the 320 area, you guys. Bidders, the, the sellers want to keep it under there. We get above here. This is a this is a triple top right here. We get above here, we're gonna get a good a, a quick squeeze. Bitter, step it up. Come on, past 50. We do have a little hidden buyer at 49, but we do have a big seller at 320. So we see the goal is gonna be 320 for them and maybe pass. Let's see. See, this is just for the spread, you guys. We should be getting filled any minute now. We need the bidders to step it up a little bit. Here we go, almost there. And we are gone, you guys. Challenge B again. Challenge B again. What do I always say, you guys? If I can do this, you can do this, you guys. Plan the trade, trade the plan. If anybody wants to help with trading or anything, hit me up in the comments. Smash that like. Check out Sir Trader. I'm gonna leave the link down there um, when I get a chance, you guys. Remember the motto, plan the trade, trade the plan. Peace out.